let me look at how I give and see if I give in secret or not. You miss the plot. Exactly. You're busy <laughs> thinking like the Pharisees. Right. You're busy thinking on what you would do outwardly. God. That ain't got nothing to do with what's going on there. How are you going to inherit the kingdom of God? That's what he's talking about. And he's drawing a distinction between two ways. He said, for just judgment, I've come into the earth. What's one of the parts of the judgment that he came into the earth for? To draw a clear line between the way into life and the way into death. Mm. And that's what he's doing in the Sermon on the Mount. He is the lawgiver. The lawgiver just means the one who teaches and instructs. And so he was teaching and instructing on that mount which way was the way into life and which way was the way into death. That's what he was doing there. And he was drawing a clear line. And he did it for like three chapters. Wow. If you lose sight of that main point anywhere in that dissertation, you've gone off into eisegesis. And what I would say is, unless you're using one of those verses to point to a truth in Christ and Him crucified, you come, you interpret in the whole thing wrong. So if you're pulling a verse out of that whole dissertation to now mm -hmm. teach a different doctrine, or a doctrine at all, mm -hmm. other than what's being taught there, you're weighted off into the dry land. And you're going to find your bones getting brittle. <laughs> and you're going to find your your hair needing some conditioner. <laughs> you might find yourself being bald like me. You're getting stubbly. You, you find yourself building a house on wood, hay, and stubble. So if you're busy looking at that and thinking, right. this is what I should do or not do, you miss Lord, the point. I got you. You're, that's the carnal mind. And there's no shame if you're thinking about it from the carnal mind. We're in a world where the carnal mind is the most implemented way of thinking that you'll encounter. Okay? Right. And so we don't feel shame when that happens, but we recognize the way the carnal mind would be talking about. Right? Alms on the inside. How do you do that? You believe on God. Right? Okay. Uh, it's on the inside. Yeah. Right? You believe you confess with your mouth. 